In today's lesson, we are going to morph an image or what I call interweaving several different images to create a new image. So we're going to use Miss Piggy and Kermit the Frog. Before I got started, what I did on the main image was I erased or painted in black where her head was. And that's to show you pretty much the process of what I do before I get started. So what you want to do is you want to take the image of Miss Piggy and copy it and paste as new layer. And then you kind of want to move it pretty much in the same area. And then you just need to do some erasing. Or you can use your lasso if you're more comfortable with that. So I'm going to take you through the process of erasing. Once you get done erasing, just kind of move it. It doesn't look quite right. Okay, on this one, her head actually looks better if we mirror it. So you just go up to image and hit mirror and it flips her looking the other way. You want to do some more cleanup on your erasing. It doesn't have to be perfect, you can always go back and fix that later on. So, once we get done with that, we want to go get Kermit and copy and paste as a new layer. And then we're going to move him down like he's sitting on the chair. Once you get him down there, go over to your layer and hit multiply. And then you want to move him some more. Or it looks like he's just kind of hanging out on the chair. And then we're done with Kermit. And then you want to go get your flower. And then of course copy. Paste. There's new layer. And then just move that where you want it. Okay. 
Now on this flower, I move it behind Kermit. So go to your layers and just slide it down past him. And then get your next flower. Copy. And then paste this new layer. And again, you just want to move that down at the bottom. And then pretty much you're done. We're just going to do some cleanup. So to do that, we want to merge all, flatten. And then go get your warp brush. And we're just going to clean up around the hair. far as morphing uh, the image. I hope you found this lesson useful.